natural gas infrastructure in the U.S. is very old, and the average age uh, is like 45 years old, and there, there are even like 80, 90 years old pipelines still around our neighborhood and around us. Um, so there's a lot of natural gas actually leaking from the system of utility and the system of oil and gas every year. So then this number is around like $4 billion worth of natural gas lost in the air. So at BioInspira, we are advancing airborne chemical and pathogen detection for growing industrial and healthcare needs. Our a solution, we can actually prevent explosions like uh, this, the one happening in Bruno City in 2010. Um, and that, that happened is because there's a leak from the transmission pipeline nearby the neighborhood and they send out a crew member to the spot trying to figure out like the the concentration and trying to detect the leaks but they um but you know like it takes time to to know like how much it is and suddenly the explosion just happened and take out several lives we can completely prevent this explosion happen again so our our sensor is made from patent biological virus and this virus particle can be engineered to um, target, specifically target the, the chemicals that we want to detect. Once we um, develop this virus, we can actually mass amplify it in the bioreactor. So, um, and it's through E. coli, so we can make it really cheap. We make the, uh, use this particle to make the car mesh sensor, which means it will change its color when exposed to the chemicals in the air. Um, none of the technology right now is using the same principle. It's a whole new mechanism for chemical detections in this field.